Good afternoon, Heidi. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Heidi, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Heidi Hitler Ataman from Talite Aguinaldo, 28 years old, and uh, two kids married, ma'am. I have a few questions for you to answer, then let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to provide the needs of my family, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because it is near the Philippines, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? I qualified for this job because I'm a hardworking person and disciplined, ma'am. May I know what your educational level is? College undergrad, ma'am. What was your recent working experience? I worked in a uh, dressing company, ma'am. Okay. Um, have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies did you take care before? My baby, ma'am. Your own baby. How about assisting elderly, Heidi? I did not, but I I can take care of elderly, ma'am. Okay. Do you have experience assisting elderly? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you have experience. Okay, so do you have any other special skills? A special skill like laundry, dishwashing, and cleaning, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or in tips stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? I only know cook Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. If ever you will be selected to work here in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Okay, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Okay, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. It's okay, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Okay, ma'am. Okay, instead your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Okay, ma'am. Agreed. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Okay, ma'am. I agree, ma'am. Okay, how many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude, Heidi? Uh, I'm a hardworking person, disciplined. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure that I work hard in Malaysia and I finish my two years contract there, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? Okay, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Okay, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Okay, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation before, Heidi? 
No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Fit to work, ma'am. Medically fit. Okay. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Okay, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Okay, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Only dogs, ma'am. Okay, only dogs. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Okay, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? Yes, ma'am. Whose family members? Priscilla, Kahate, Paamchon, ma'am. Okay, working as a? Domestic helper, ma'am. Okay, is it same agency? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. Okay, Heidi, I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Okay, okay upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? Maybe I'll just send them money, ma'am. Okay, so are you going to stay and continue your work? Yes, ma'am. If in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them why the employer need to hire you? I want to say that thank you for hiring me and for trusting me, ma'am. Okay, why they need to hire you? Because I'm a hardworking person and disciplined, ma'am. Okay, um, tell us about yourself again, Heidi. I'm Heidi Hitler Ataman from Taliti Aguinaldo Ifugao, married, 28 years old, and I have two kids now. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper because I want to provide them with my family. Okay, thank you very much. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.